Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. For this review, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. It's a side-by-side -side comparison of two Neptune beers. And they are Limited Edition Medusa's Gaze. These are both bourbon barrel-aged beers. They're both American stouts and they both weigh in at 7%. And they're both best before January 2023. The only difference is... Is this one is barrel aged in Maker's Mark bourbon barrels, and this one is barrel aged in Jim Beam Reserve bourbon barrels. That's the only difference. I um, got these off the Neptune website, I think it was probably in February, I um, may have been in January. Um, but yeah, let's have a little look. Let's go show just briefly show you so. There it is, 7% on the front, as you can see. Maker's Mark, Battle Aged, BBA, American Stout. Um, I'm not sure the camera's going to be able to pick this up, but the best before is just above the 300ml. There, you can see it. And then, again, the same with this one. Gold Trident's version of the one's green. Um, Jim Beam BBA, American Stout, 7%. And then the same Jan um, 23, the best before, just above the 300 if the camera can focus in a bit. <coughs> it says on the back of this one, it makes work battle aged stout, good using cluster hops. And this one says, Jim Beam Ben battle aged, brews using cluster hops also. Uh, this limited edition version it has been battle aged in Jim Beam Reserve bourbon barrels. You'll find the indulgent flavours of dark chocolate, smooth warmth with notes of oak, vanilla, and a hint of spice. This one, it says this limited edition version has been battle aged in Maker's Mark, bourbon barrels. You'll find indulgent flavours of dark chocolate um, with a rich warmth and notes of mixed peel, dry oak, and vanilla. And that's those two. So, two glasses, identical. identical. Um, the Maker's Mark one's going to go into the Hot Pace glass and the Jim Beam's going to go into the, the regular glass. So, let's pop a top and let's see what we've got. We'll start off with the Maker's Mark. Okay, so beer in a glass, we've got ourselves jet black beer. We've got just under half a he half a finger of head um, tanned. It's going to dissipate. There's going to be basically be nothing left of that. Um, no light getting through it at all. So we'll put that there and put that there. And let's pop this one. So there we go, it's the Jim Beam one. Again, jet black beer. But with this one, we've got a finger and a half of tanned head. Just put that there so you can have a little look at it. A finger and a half of tanned head. And again, I say no light getting through that whatsoever. So, let's just swap these over so you can at least see the beers side by side. So head dissipated on Maker's Mark. Jim Beam one still hanging around, right? Let's get a nose. Let's see what we can smell. Start off with the Maker's Mark. Roasted malt. Do you get milk chocolate? Do you smell sort of like a, a caramel aroma to it? And you do smell the bourbon. It smells quite nice. Let's have a go on the old Jim Beam one. Again, roasted malt, chocolate, vanilla. And again, you do smell the, the bourbon coming through. 
Why, why not with this one? Let's go for the Jim Beam for the body and the carb. Cheers. Light body, light carbonation. That's very nice. Let's go for the Maker's Mark. That's got a light body. That's got a soft carb. The carbonation on, the, on this one is slightly lighter than the carbonation on that one. Okay, so Maker's Mark, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. Yeah, there's definitely get dark chocolates in there. Most of the malt comes through. You do get a little sort of caramel sweetness. <coughs> and then on the back end, you get the Maker's Mark bourbon sort of alcohol vapour. That's very nice. That's very nice. Let's go with this, the old Jim Beam. Cheers. Again, opens up with the roasted malt, bitter chocolate, sweet, light vanilla. There's more vanilla to this one than there is to this one. <coughs> and then Jim Beam, a bourbon sort of barrel comes through at the end. And it is a touch woody, right at the tip of the back end. Very tasty, both beers, really tasty. I think I'm afraid of Jim Beam one. Mm. Both very nice. Both very nice. Both are exactly the same in the tin. I, I would like the bodies on both of them to be a little bit thicker, if I'm being honest. But as a battle aged beer goes, they're very nice. There is a little warmth to both beers. They're very, very good. Very good indeed. <coughs> anyway, I will go away and drink these, share them with the good lady. And uh, I'll be back again later on for another comparison video. I've got two more I need to do. So, Neptune's Medusa Gaze, limited edition, bourbon barrel. Bourbon barrel aged beers. Do I like them? Yes. Would I buy them again if they made them? Yes. Which one's the best? I think it's the Jim Beam one. But this is still a very, really, really good beer. I, would I recommend these to friends? Yes, these are really nice. Proper sip of beers. Not too strong. Nice body, nice flavour. Like I say, you do get the you do get the barrel there. So if you've had these, in fact, let me just move these. If you've had these, either of these, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I um, I will put a link to the Neptune website also below. These aren't on the net, on the Neptune website as I say they were limited edition. <coughs> I've got a real woodiness coming through now. It's almost like a coconut. I um, but yeah, these aren't on the website. So give me the thumbs up like the video, give me a thumbs down if you don't, and subscribe in that bottom box down there. I am I will be I say we'll be back later on for another comparison video. And I will so I will see you then. Till then, stay stay safe, drink good beer, and hail the ale.